Hello, hello. This is Pat at Petresca Papers. I am coming to you with kind of an addition like I like to do with some of my kits. My kits are digital kits. They are available in my Etsy shop. There is a bit.ly link below. Don't let that fool you. What that is is just shortens it from being like five lines long. So just click on that. It will take you right to my shop if you're interested in looking at my digital kits. This one is called Christmas Doors. This particular journal booklet is mine. I'm working in it and I have my calendar in here and I, I can't tell you what. It must have been dark when I did that tear, but man, and that was not purpose. I'm... I may have to trim that. It's making me crazy. I've got some sticky notes. I've got some sticky notes of things I have to do. I've got some ephemera in here for Thanksgiving because this first one is this first. There it is. This first signature, these pages are devoted to November. These are December. And there is a December calendar back here. The calendars are available as a template. Go. I will also link this. I have a Facebook group. And that is where I like to give sneak peeks of new items. Or I give away. I do some files. Different free files. This will be. This is in there. And it is just a blank calendar and when I say blank it's like it's it is November it's dated it's December it's dated but you can print it on whatever paper you want you can print it on just copy paper or you can print it print the paper first and then do on the on the printed paper I don't know what I said print it first then run it through and print the calendar on it and that is in my group, Petresca Papers group, and it's free. It's up in the files, but I will also link that. <coughs> Pardon me. So, what I was doing, I was working in my booklet, and I turned this over and I went, look at all that wasted real estate. Huh, what can I do? And I thought, oh, I could just put a pocket on the back, but you know, it could it would have a limited amount of space so I thought I was working and I saw it's it's like this it's a I don't know if they call them a legal document holder but this is what I decided to do now this one is too big for this so we're gonna size it down so I'm going to show you how I come to my sizing so that if you're going to use it for this idea for like the gingerbread house or other purposes, you'll know what to do. I am using the green plaid from the, the Christmas Doors kit. The Home Sweet Homes Christmas Doors, Christmas Door Doors kit. Yes, I did make that up. I have cut off all the white edges. So here is how I am going to come up with my sizing. I told you that, didn't I? So my, my booklet is like three and a half inches by eight. Well, I don't want it to go the whole way, so I'm just going to shave off that three that half inch and just make it three and then I don't want it to be the full length but I would like it to start about two inches down so I'm going to make my pocket six inches so three by six okay now do you need to have a scoreboard no but if you can get one do it will make your life easy easier you will love scoring with it now, if you don't have a scoreboard, you can make the tick marks with your pencil and, you know, use um, like a, a butter knife or something on a soft surface and with your ruler and make your score lines and fold. And it, that works. 
it's just a little more work than my scoreboard, your scoreboard, any scoreboard. I, I use, this is an embossing tool here in the United States. They are available at the Dollar Tree. I have some other ones that are wood that I had from years ago when I used to do the dry embossing. All right, so here we go. I'm going to start with the two inch line and I'm going to score down two inches. And then three inches, since that's my width, takes me to five. All right? Then I want to do five and a quarter and five and a half. Then I'm going to go the other way from the two and I'm going to go one and three quarters and one and a half. All right? Then I'm going to turn this clock counterclockwise and I'm going to score at six because that's how long I want my envelope. And then we're going to give it a quarter of an inch gusset or space at the bottom. Now when I turn this over, you probably have much better luck seeing what I've just scored. Okay. Now this side here is very long, so I'm going to trim that off eventually. I'm not going to do it yet. All right, we're going to do some folding. We are first going to fold on that very first fold, which was one and a half, I believe. And then I'm going to open that up and find my next fold. And I'm going to fold it the opposite way because we're kind of accordion pleating this in a way. And then this way... And then they will just fold in like this. And with my bone folder, I'm going to give it a good reinforcing, nice, so I have a nice crisp fold. Okay, so the, oh, look how straight plaid is either your friend or your enemy when it comes to straight. So I'm going to fold there. And then I will fold back on itself that way. I feel like I need to give that a good one there. And then there's one more fold right there. You have to sometimes kind of coax those folds. That's why that the, the scoreboard is so nice. It does a lot of the strong arm coaxing. Oh, I folded that the wrong way. Let's do it the right way. There we go. And then they fold in on themselves here. Just like, oh, come on. I'm all thumbs out here. My, my shed, my bluebird bungalow is a little chilly this morning. But I'm good. Okay, so you can see this is way long. So I'm going to trim it off. And so that I don't make a great big mistake, I am going to make me a little fold to where I want to cut. And let's get that. I even see it. There it is, right there. And cut that off. And save that for something else. <coughs> Pardon me. All right. Now, down here, here's our six inch. There's our six and a quarter. We are going to cut out, and I'm going to draw. We're going to cut out all that, and we're going to cut out all that. So we will go right along, and I'm going to kind of cut it at a little bit of an angle because this is what's going to fold up and around, 
And this is going to go in on a little bit of an angle too over to either my, I don't know if that's my three or my six inch. Okay. So then this way also, actually, I think I'll cut this way first. So right along there to there and up there. Okay. I'm going to fold that and fold that. Now, before I start gluing, I want to make my notch. And I have a one and a half inch, which is pretty big for three inches, but I really want to be able to get into this pocket. Okay. Now, it is white inside. And I, depending on how I feel, I may come, um, well, I could actually slide some of that in there or uh, contrasting. But you can see down here that little quarter inch is going to give me a nice pocket to feed down in. So first to glue, well... I'm going to do a little bit of distressing right along there because once I glue this on, I won't be able to get into those folds as easy. I could probably work at it, but we'll do this and we'll do it along there. Don't have to worry about the back side because that's going to be glued onto my booklet. And this, I don't have to worry about that because that will be glued down. Okay? All right. So first, which do I want to overlap? I think, well, it doesn't matter. I just said we're not going to see it. Oh, Patricia. All right. I am going to use my favorite glue art glitter glue. I don't know. I think it's available um, outside of the United States. Then I'm going to do on the inside of this because that just gives it a double glued edge. So like that, matching up my folds right like that. Use a bone folder or a credit card get that nice nicely stuck down isn't that interesting with it being plaid it just kind of disappears and then this we're going to do along that edge along that edge along that edge and again I want to make sure I want to make sure that I'm flat with my little gussets there. Can you see that? I hope you can. So that and that. Now I'm going to reach in with my bone folder. No. Yeah. No. I think my ruler. I'm going to go in with my ruler and let that kind of be my strength down in here to get this glued all the way down these sides. And that is it. And I'm going to, oh, let's see. Should have done this before. I'm just going to do a little distressing down in there. That looks good. I don't think I have to worry about a lining. Do you? I don't think so. All right. So to put this on, it's a simple thing. It is going to be totally glued on. Now, looking at this, and you know how we junk journalers are. Everything could be a pocket. That could be another pocket, but I'm not going to. I may put a little small pocket on the outside here just for little scraps of paper. But I think, I think I'm going to use Fabri-Tac or Fabri-Fix just because this is going to be on the outside and it may get some beading 
in and out of my bag or whatever. I'm going to be traveling this week and so I'll have my carry-on bag and I'll be, you know, making notes in there and all that. So have I got it on there pretty good? I'm going to get a special little edge up here, along here. Okay, let's get it stuck down right on come down as far as I feel like I can and get it nice and even push down on those folds I don't want to push down too oh I could push down on that it doesn't matter because it will pop back up as it's getting full of goodies all right, so let's see. You are too big to go in there. What do I have around that I could just show you? Let's see. Well, this isn't something I'd put in it, but it's got some depth. So you can see that can slide right down in there nicely. Wow, that's kind of a nice padding. And see here how that little gusset opens up to give space so I can put a whole lot of bills in here or receipts <gasps> not bills receipts I don't know go broke anyway this is my contribution I'm thinking a cute little pocket like that and then I could put you know little cards or business cards things like that I think I might do that you don't need to see me do that. That's an easy one. But anyway, thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't subscribed, subscribe and hit that bell so you're notified when I when I trudge out to the Bluebird Bungalow to, to film. Check out my Etsy site. And please, please comment. I love comments. And I'm pretty good about answering them. Because I have no life, I guess. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a good day. We'll talk again soon. Bye-bye.